that was huge right so just imagine if you can do the mathematics here let's do the mathematics the one in turkey the one in turkey was 7.8 right so 7.8 right 7.8 earthquake in turkey okay the aftershock or the next big one was 7.5 right and there's like hundreds of earthquakes happening below here that are anywhere between six lower right down to 3.53 3 and lower as well right okay now if you want to know what the uh, how much more powerful one earthquake is relative to another earthquake you do this right so forget this part right because we don't care about the little aftershocks they're still gonna knock stuff down right they're gonna knock down buildings because a lot of buildings that didn't go down initially with the 7.8 and 7.5 they're cracked right so they're gonna go down with these guys six it'll take down buildings six and a half it'll take down building even five and a half when building structures have been compromised they'll take them down right especially in certain parts of the world right uh that earthquake earthquake proof buildings are not earthquake proof right but if you want to know the uh the difference right the how much more powerful a 7.8 is relative to 7.5 you put it to the base 10 and you do a division right so seven uh, sorry 10 to the power of 7.8 divided by 10 to the power of 7.5 so here i'll punch this in from my end too you guys do it from your end too i'm a little slow on my computer calculator so here uh 10 to the power of 7.8 okay equals but doing it's huge divided by 10 to the power of 7.5 doing oh because it's um, okay hold on i gotta do it like this so basically do, do, don't do it the way i did it I, i'm trying to think of a, uh, what do you call it doing it with a, as if it was a graphing calculator so you would do this when you're doing division of powers is 10 to the power of 7 i don't want to go into the rules of this but you subtract these right so you go 10 point 10 to the power 7.8 minus 7.5 which is equal to 10 to the power of 0 0.3 so all you got to punch in is 10 to the power of 0 0.3 to find out how much more powerful it is right so 10 to the power of 0 0.3 not in my physics teaching uh mindset right laying the stuff out uh to the power of 0.3 okay so it ends up being twice as more powerful right so 7.8 so this ends up being basically 1.99 what was it nine 1.99 something something eight something what was it five nine point nine point nine nine five you round it up to two decimal places even as 2.0 right so 7.8 you know, let's bring up a fresh run so 10 to the power 7.8 divided by 10 to the power of 7.5 is equal to 10 to the power of 0 0.3 and this is equal to 2. so two times more powerful was the next earthquake was the first the first earthquake was twice as powerful as the next one that hit in a couple of hours right or whatever number of time it was within a day or something right now in alaska i believe i believe we had 10 to the power of 9.6 9.4 i think let's 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 be on the safe side or average it out 9.5 happened in alaska okay might have been a 9.2 let's go 9.2 let's go 9.2 so in alaska we had an earthquake of 10 to the power of 9.2 okay extremely powerful divided by earthquake in turkey 10 to the power of 7.7.8 so this is going to be oops that's supposed to be a two okay so this is going to be 10 to the power of 9.2 minus 7.8 okay so what is that subtraction is 92 92 minus 7.8 8 times 12 4 uh, 7 1 1. 1.4 10 to the power of 1 whoops 1. 
Okay. Punch down your calculator. See what you get. Apologies for not reading the chat. Uh, I get distracted with numbers easy. <laughs> it's like, look, Chicho numbers. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Did a power of 1.4. 1. 1.4. 1. Right? That's 25 times more powerful, right? So one of the largest earthquakes ever recorded happened early, early 19th century, early 1900s, right? Was in Alaska up here. And that was 25 times more powerful than the earthquake that just happened in Turkey and Syria, right? 25 times more powerful. 